Dear beloved, Shalom. I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost that in this new December month of 2007, God is getting ready to move heaven and earth on your behalf. As the month rolls, as the year 2007 rolls away, so shall all your troubles, tribulations, and trials roll away with it. You shall be in the countenance of kings and rulers. And God is getting ready to uh, do everything that he can to make sure that your end, uh, that your month ends on a, a, a very joyful note. Your month of December shall end before your paycheck runs out. And I speak uh, on behalf of all the prophets, I call on a thousand archangels to surround you, to surround your household, to surround your marriage, to surround your children, that everything you shall experience in this, uh, uh, in this last time of the year shall be joy and nothing but joy. God, I pray that you shall perfect everything that concerns each and every one of them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is your messianic pastor coming your way again with a, a powerful revelation from God, which I'm getting ready to download into your spirit uh, this uh, beautiful December uh, 2017 uh, day. Um, um, I'm going to be bringing you words from the book of Isaiah uh, chapter 6. I'm going to read just two uh, you know, verses from verse uh, 5 and 7. Uh, in that in that uh, you know narrative uh, which uh, prophet Isaiah wrote like uh, a mini autobiography autobiography meaning uh, uh, you know uh, somebody writing about his uh, you know life's experiences uh, he, you know he he began to articulate uh, that uh, uh, you know that sermon uh, you know on a very sour and uh, you know very very sad and depressing note uh, but uh, toward the end of uh, verse 7 uh, the the uh, narrative changed to one that uh, uh, is filled with uh, joy, uh, encouragement, and uh, inspiration, and that is the way I see your life uh, in this in this uh, 2007 uh, January 2007 may have started on a sour, uh, uninspiring note, but in in uh, uh, by January to uh, by December 2017, uh, the narrative of your life is going to change. The one that uh, is filled with uh, joy and laughter and uh, singing and dancing and it shall be so in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen so i'm going to read the uh, the book of isaiah chapter 6 i'm going to read uh, verse uh, uh, verses 5 and 7 um uh, it reads uh, woe to me i cried i am ruined for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. And I, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Verse 6. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live charcoal in his hand, which he had taken with tongues from the altar with it that's verse 7 he had taken sorry with it he touched my mouth and said see this has touched your lips your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for remember he says sin not sins and guilt not guilt uh, not, not guilt guilt and sin says see this has touched your lips your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for praise god um dear beloved the the dialogue between uh, uh between the mouth and the hand that bears the sword is one that uh, will never have a way of having a, a happy ending uh, uh, because the series of events that will follow that dialogue between the lips and the hand will be the, the one that will uh, have uh, lethal and ferocious consequences. The ear, watch this, reported that it overheard, it overheard the mouth speaking to the hand and, and saying to the hand, Cut the head off. 
cut the head off. Cut the head off. That's what the, the ear said. He heard the mouth telling the hand, carrying the sword. But, but the hand, in, in a show of restraint, sheathed the sword back into the scabbard. He put it back into the scabbard. And, and the ear said he thought that that was the end of the discussion. But, but moments after, the, the, the mouth began to speak to the hand, bearing the sword, and t telling the hand, cut the head off, cut the head off, cut the head off. And the hand drew the sword from the scabbard and chopped the head off. And the head rolled on the ground. But, but as soon as the head was cut off, the mouth, was also cut off with the head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear beloved, I want you to remember that an, a New Testament prophet in the book of Proverbs declared that there is power of life and death in your mouth. We're going to be so very careful over what it is that we allow our mouth to speak because the devil is always standing by and looking around waiting to make effective whatever evil the mouth has spoken. Dear beloved, in the last few weeks, uh, in, uh, the, the United States uh, uh, you know, uh, political establishment has uh, witnessed uh, very, very uh, uh, difficult uh, uh, you know, you know, times in its uh, evolution. You know, uh, a lot of uh, senators are resigning for you know, what they allowed their mouth to do. And, 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 and the, the former uh, national security advisor named uh, General Michael Flynn, uh, uh, you know, uh, has been convicted for lying to law enforcement. Uh, 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 but, but there was a time he allowed his mouth to speak words that lacked edification, words that lacked encouragement, words, words that uh, uh, did, did not, uh, uh, you, know, you know, provide comfort. He, he, he once said to Hillary Clinton, lock her up. Lock her up, lock her up. But, but dear beloved, ju just a few uh, 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 weeks ago, the same mouth that spoke to lock her up, lock her up, lock her up, has changed its refrain. The mouth is now speaking, lock him up, lock him up, lock him up. I want you to remember that, that you gotta remember that, that you, gotta, you gotta be very, very careful for what you allow the mouth to speak because the evil one is going to make it effective don't you remember that that the the, the words of the mouth is very very powerful and effective if we climb up if we climb back up into the book of genesis chapter one in the beginning the, 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 the whole planet was was pitch black it was it was it, there was darkness over 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 the, the the face of the earth but but as soon as God moved in all he did was speak three words let there be every time he spoke let there be there was a transformation something happened just mere words he spoke he didn't perform any magic and, and, and because there was darkness covering the face of the earth, uh, God, God said, let there be light. And dear beloved, there was light because of spoken words. Words are very, very powerful. So we're going to be very careful over what it is that we allow the mouth to speak. And in this season of December, God is going to give you encouragement to only use your mouth to speak words that bring uh, edification, words that, that uh, you know, magnify the glory of God, God words that parallel the, the, uh, the precepts and, and the decree of God over our destiny. God is going to take away that uh, spirit of, of, uh, of, uh, of evil that is going to make you use your mouth in a way that does not uh, mirror the glory of God, in a way that is going to cause, the, uh, you know, that is going to be depressing, in a way that is going to cause the, the discouragement. God, God, I'm asking you to do it be, be, because you, 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 you have the power. To, 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 to change mindset, to, to change mentality, so that we can begin to deploy our mouth and our lips, so that we can ask our tongue to speak words that help one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
when, when we uh, uh, turn back to, to, to the text that I just read in the in the book of uh, in, in the book of Isaiah uh, chapter six, where, where we 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 we'll find out that there there is a, a monologue, a, a soliloquy that uh, 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 Prophet Isaiah is is articulating to to himself. He he was speaking to himself, and he was in the altar of God, where he just uh, completed performing a burnt sacrifice. Be, be, because be, be, because uh, the, there were series of events in which the, the good prophet uh, that always spoke words that, that are a defined, words that are encouraging, and be, begins to, to, to uh, speak very harsh words over his own existence. For, for in, in verse 5, he says, watch this, Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips. And I live among people of unclean lips. The the, the, the prophet is speaking words that that are unbecoming of a prophet of his of his stature, a, a prophet that once uh, uh, prophesied the, the the arrival and coming of the Messiah. That's why Prophet Isaiah is referred as the the messianic prophet. He he was one who predicted that the, that a, a son was going to be born during the the reign of King Ahaz. That 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 a a, a a virgin of a marriable age was going to uh, 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 born a child who shall reign and rule over the the whole world during the the reign of this uh, king Ahaz when Israel was uh, 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 you know um, you know turning its way away turning its uh, back against God they, they were they were pre preoccupied they were uh, captivated with with uh, with with fetish with with oracle with deity false and idol gods it was the same prophet that was speaking against their their uh, excesses that uh, the prophet encouraged them to to curb their excesses and turn right back uh, 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 to 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 stay on course in in the worship of God but this generation was living outside of covenant it was the same prophet but he got so frustrated now that now he is beginning to to, to speak words that are not a defiant uh, uh, and he, he said uh, 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 my life is ruined uh, I live I live uh, I'm a man of, of unclean lips and I, I live among people of, of unclean lips whoa unto me that's what the that's what the prophet spoke because he got so frustrated that 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 now he 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 thought his, his life has become a complete fiasco and and and, and the reason why is because he has been living a, a, amongst a, a people that 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 have impure mouth impure lips that that the, the the people that 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 speak evil words people that that don't speak words that that mirror the glory of god that's that's why he's he's, he's turning against his own destiny speaking that 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 my life has 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 been ruined that i i I, I, I am a man of, of impure lips and, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Whoa to me. That's what the that's what the prophet spoke against his own existence. Dear, dear beloved, can I tell you that that in this season of December 2007, every lip, every mouth that speaks uh, evil against you, God is getting ready to check them. Every Everybody that, 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 that wants to denigrate and castigate you, everyone that's one, every lip that pushes you down, that does not want to elevate you and see you for, for, the, for, for, for mirroring the glory of God, God is getting ready to speak, whoa, unto them. Hallelujah. God, I feel redemption right through in here. Hallelujah. That's what the, the, the prophet was grappling with. He, he was grappling with, with a, 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 an existential crisis in the, in the house of Israel. When, when the people were turning against their, their, their God and were living outside of destiny. Their destiny was, was to, be the, to be the children of God. They were to, supposed to be the chosen house of God. But, but now they are converting with, with a, a different generation. A generation that is speaking evil. That is not uh, speaking words that, that have... Uh, edification the words that that encouraged they were just speaking words that that lacked the 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 the, 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 the you know the precepts that that lacked the the, the 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 decree and 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 the doctrine that that god has imported into their spirit for if, if we if we go further in uh, on that on that verse five i'm still on on uh, 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 Isaiah chapter six verse five he he, he, he says he, say, he says and my eyes have seen the king 
the Lord Almighty God. Now watch this. Uh, uh, it's the same mouth that that has been speaking uh, of of uh, of of evil over over his own destiny. He says, my, my 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 life has been ruined, and 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 I'm a man of unclean lips, and and I live amongst a generation of an equally unclean lips. But now, if you watch in the in the in the uh, uh, um, uh, uh, in the, in the succeeding uh, clause of of uh, of uh, that uh, verse five, he, he, he says, uh, 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 "And my eyes, watch this, uh, have seen the King, the Lord Almighty." C can you see the the the, uh, the the irony and the paradox that that existed in one ju in just one one verse, verse five, where where the prophet was was beating himself up, where the prophet was lashing out and castigating himself. It was the same mouth. That now is speaking of of of, of seeing the, the the glory of of the coming of the Lord. Uh, can I tell you that that don't allow the your past to dictate your future because your future is where you're gonna be living the rest of your life. Something may have gone wrong in in two thousand in January two thousand and seven, but here we are twelve months after. God is getting ready to elevate you. God is getting ready to change your mindset so that you can begin to speak words that that encourage you because because the Bible said. That, that that king J king david encouraged himself even when the people that he trusted the people that he relied on uh, were planning to to stone him to death but but king david encouraged yourself and i'm challenging you this morning to encourage yourself stop beating yourself up stop speaking words that demoralize you stop speaking castigating words even though your your mouth may have spoken evil over your destiny but god is going to give you the right mindset god is going to give you a, a spirit that is not of fear but of love and power god is going to give you a new sense of of self-concept so that you can start believing in yourself and start speaking words that encourage yourself encourage yourself and and lift your spirit up i want you to anoint yourself i want you to pat yourself on the back that you have made it from january uh, 2017 and now you are in december 2017 you did not uh, go to the grave you did not not go to the other side you should uh, you should you should uh, walk with your heads high you should walk with pride don't beat yourself up don't speak words that lack edification because I'm asking God to do it for you because the prophet said his his life has been ruined and and, and that he is a man of unclean spirit and that he lives amongst people of unclean spirit. If if we go uh, uh, to, to 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 verse six, watch this. He, he, he says, then one of the seraphim. Seraphim is a uh, 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 a seraphim is is a plural of seraph. Seraph is one, and seraphim is, is a uh, uh, a collection of uh, um, uh, of of uh, uh, angelic creatures. You know they they are you know known for their adore for their for, for their light and, and for their you know you know uh, piety they, so so they, they they are kind of angels so so it says it says uh, uh, then one of the seraphim seraphim flew to me with a live charcoal in his hand which he had taken with tongues from the altar so so a seraph that's an angelic creature uh, uh, flew from the altar. Keep in mind that the, this uh, narrative was uh, taking place in the house of God, where the prophet was uh, was uh, giving a burnt offering, and and so so uh, in ancient Israel, uh, 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 prophets and uh, and men of God used to go to the house of God to to go to the uh, to, to the altar to uh, perform burnt offering. They can use a live animal, a live pigeon, or whatever God has directed them to. So that's where the prophet went to to perform a, a burnt offering, and and then the remnant of the charcoal that was left uh, on the on the altar after the uh, burnt offering, the one uh, the seraph. Uh, picked it with a tongue. A tongue is uh, uh, an, an implement with which people can, you know, use to turn their barbecue or, or turn their uh, their sausages while they're at, at a, a picnic. So, so he took uh, the the tongue and and lifted one 
uh, one uh, uh, of the charcoal, live charcoal. So, so the, 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 the altar was still smoldering with fire after the burnt offering. So, so one of the, one of the uh, ser uh, 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 seraphim, remember there were, there were thousands of uh, seraphim, you know, you know, flying around uh, 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 above the altar, you know, bringing vision and words uh, uh, from God to the, to the prophet. And, and, and I speak over, over every, every uh, 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 individual listening to, to this podcast that, that in your, in your, in, in your household, in this uh, December 2007 season, the, the, the angels, the, the seraphim are, are going to be to be flying over over your house. They they will be flying over 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 your business. They will they will fly over your preoccupation. They are going to be flying over your children's school. They are going to be bringing vision from God, and they are going to be blessing your marriage. They will be blessing your children. They will be blessing your preoccupation. They will be blessing your relationship. The seraphim, I can feel them right now. God is sending the angels over your house that in this December season you're going to have joy you're going to experience the fullness of joy you're going to experience uh, a supernatural increase there will be no lack in your household your December shall uh, shall be uh, filled with 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 uh, uh, with increase your December shall be with shall be filled with uh, supernatural uh, uh, you know breakthrough there will be financial excesses in your household you shall not lack you shall be the lender and not the borrower. You shall be the voice and not the echo. You, you shall be above and not beneath. Do, because you've been faithful over a few things since the, uh, the season of January to, to December. God is getting ready to make you a ruler over many. And I pray that God will perfect every word that comes out of the prophet's mouth in this season. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, so the, the, the seraphim. Uh, one of the seraphim uh, took uh, a live charcoal and, and let's let's see what what that uh, seraph is going to do with uh, that live charcoal uh, I, i'm still on verse six uh, i remember that i mean i mean in the chapter in the chapter six uh, a book of uh, of uh, the book of Isaiah, i'm in chapter six but now i'm in verse six and i'm reading from verse seven to uh, from from verse uh, five to uh, verse seven now I'm, I'm in verse six it says one of the seraphim uh, took a uh, uh, flu and uh, uh, to me with a live charcoal uh, in his hand which he had taken from the altar uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and with it watch this he, he touched my mouth he said he said so 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 he, he took the live charcoal and with it he touched my mouth. Uh, 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 a prophet, why, why, why would why would uh, uh, an angel of God that that is supposed to bring peace and and anointing take something that is of uh, awfully dangerous, uh, a, a live charcoal? Uh, 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 why why would why would he, he take live charcoal and and place it on the lips of, of the prophet? Uh, 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 re, 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 remember, uh, the, the the prophet has been speaking. A, a evil words over his own destiny because as a prophet of god you, uh, you, it is incumbent on you to to bring words that that are a defying to to bring words that are encouraging that words that are inspiring but this prophet has has uh, is now acting out of order because of certain frustrations he has experienced because of the evil pathways the, the, the house of Israel had taken for itself. They have turned their backs against God who has uh, brought them out, out of Egypt uh, from their 400 years of slavery. And the prophet has been, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, witnessing to them, has been encouraging them to stay on course. But, but this is a stubborn generation. They have, uh, you know, uh, they have parted ways from from uh, uh, the, the the God of Israel, the, the that, that brought them out of bondage. Now, now, the, but but the, the prophet is articulating his very legitimate views in, in the wrong way by uh, by uh, castigating his himself. So so in order to check, uh, it, it help in order to check his excesses, in order to help curb his enthusiasm, in order to help uh, stop him from uh, further denigrating his anointing. The the, uh, the seraph took that charcoal in order to teach him a lesson, but there is no evidence that that charcoal ever caused injury to his mouth, because in the text it didn't say that the uh, the prophet cringed or or kind of or, or kind of stepped back or showed any form of pain 
uh, uh, when the, the live charcoal was placed in his mouth. And, and in this season, even though you, 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 you've been under fire, even though you've been working in fire since the month of January, in the month of December, there is going to be a cooling effect. God is going to create an environment that even amongst the fire, even in the heat of the moment, you're going to be walking in a room that is like an air-conditioned room. You're going to be stepping into a deep freezer, like a cold room where fish are put because the hand of God is over your life. God, I feel your revelation right through in here. The, prophet ha the prophet's lips have been smoldered with hot charcoal, but yet it didn't burn him. Because if we step back again and climb back up uh, into the, 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 uh, the book of uh, Exodus, we're, we're going to remember the encounter uh, Moses had with, uh, with God in the, in the, in the narrative of the, of the burning bush. The bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. Your house may be on fire this, this season, but it's not going to be consumed. The, the, the hand of God will be resting on your life. No matter what the fire, the enemy has stoked into your life. No matter the embers, the, how high the heat of the, uh, the, the ember of hatred, the ember of jealousy, the ember of envy that the enemy has articulated in your household, over your marriage, over your children's education, over your preoccupation, they will not consume you. You will, shall not be consumed. You shall be walking in the midst of the fire like there, it was an air-conditioned house. You shall be walking amongst the fire like it is a cold room because the hand of God is resting on your life. It has been resting on like in your life from January. The, the fire has not burned you. It didn't burn you in January. It didn't burn you in February. It didn't burn you all through the months. And in, in December, it shall not burn you. And I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost that God will perfect every word that emanates from the lips of his prophet in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Let's continue. I'm going to take you now back to... I'm going to take you uh, to... Uh, um, uh, to, to, to verse uh, 7 of, of this narrative. So, so it says, with, with, with uh, the tongue, the, the seraph touched my mouth and said, watch this. See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. Alright, I don't want you to miss the message. I just want you to stay with me. With the tongue, the seraph flew to the altar where the uh, burnt offering fire was still smoldering. And he picked up a live charcoal. And with it, he uh, pressed it uh, on the lips of the prophet. And he, he, now we know the reason why uh, he performed this act of, uh, of redemption. The, this act of, uh, of atonement. Because he says, with it. He touched my lips and says, see, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. You see, the prophet was grapp grappling with and, and you know, uh, you know uh, facing formidable challenges from two angles. He, he, he had guilt as well as sin. Because the text uh, uh, is reporting that, that it says your guilt is taken away. Not guilt. One guilt is taken away as well as your sin atoned for. So, so the, 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 we now see what, what the challenges were for the prophet. He, he was, he was uh, under intense pressure because he may have sinned because of the words he allowed his prophetic mouth to speak. And now, uh, you know, so he, so he had an overwhelming sense of guilt uh, as well as uh, he committed sin because a prophet is not supposed to speak out of order. You're supposed to speak words that mirror the glory of God. So that is sin. And, 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 and sin is a, a trespass and transgression. So the prophet has been held accountable. Uh, and his punishment has, uh, has been uh, by smoldering of his lips. So that the mouth will no longer speak evil. The mouth shall now speak life. Uh, 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 instead of instead of uh, 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 condemnation, so 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 he was grappling with both guilt for what he spoke with his mouth, and then sin for his trespasses, for his transgressions. And I speak by the power of of the king, kings, king of kings, that in this season, 
whatever guilt, whatever sin that you have experienced, whatever guilt that is troubling you, I wash it away by the power of the prophet. Every uh, uh, every uh, guilt, every sin is being atoned in this last month of 2017. Uh, I don't want you to worry anymore because you are going to start on a new slate. God is getting ready to wipe off your sins. He's going to wipe the slate clean so that in January 2018, you shall read everything shall uh, start from anew. God is getting ready to make you redo everything you may have messed up in 2017 you may have uh, taken the wrong step you have may have taken the wrong turn you may have acted out of order you may have stepped outside of covenant but god is washing your sins away he is atoning for your sins your guilt have been taken away and i speak by the power of the holy ghost as a prophet unto all nations god has given me the power to wash all your sins away to atone for all your sins to clean your transgressions away and I speak by the prophetic authority that God has put in my hand that every word that emerges from my mouth shall never return to God void. This is the voice of God. This is a prophetic anointing. And I speak through a, an apostolic authority that God has given into my hand that in this new December month, everything shall be new in your life. I need you to step out in faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things uh, uh, not seen. You need to uh, step out and, and you need to have a mindset uh, of, of uh, uh, having no foreseeable uh, 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 pecuniary financial benefit. But you got to step out in faith that the hand of God is in all of it. That I speak to you right now uh, through my prophetic authority. I speak to you by my apostolic authority that every word that has come out of my mouth has been ordained by God. And as I get ready to close this, uh, this podcast, let me release blessing over your life. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Uh, and for him that is able to keep thee from falling and to present thee faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, and dominion even now and forevermore. God, bless these words of endearment that have been spoken over the lives of your people in the name of the Father, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Until I come your way again, this is your messianic prophet and pastor bringing you word as the heavens open up in Jesus' name. Amen.